So it's come to my attention that buying Pokemon cards has become a lot harder than it needs to be. Right now, actually in Canada, more specifically my province of Ontario, we can't even buy Pokemon cards in stores because the government won't let us. Right now, there's currently like another lockdown. We're in our third lockdown. Yeah. And basically what the government's done now is they've sectioned off all non-essential items so you can no longer purchase things like Pokemon cards, clothing, shoes, anything that's deemed non-essential, frying pans. You just can't buy it because they're not essential. I know Pokemon cards aren't necessarily essential but they're essential to run this Pokemon channel so on the bright side before the lockdown I did go to a local GameStop slash EB games in Canada to hunt for some Pokemon cards and I wanted to show you guys my search searching for Pokemon cards at the mall. With that said, we also have a couple of things to get to this video. We're going to be announcing the winners for, you guessed it, the Shining Fates Pikachu V-Box that I announced a long time ago. I've just been really busy behind the scenes and also just not being too productive at some times too. You guys know how it is. And I don't actually have the winners selected right now, so I'll announce the winners on screen as I open up the packs and stuff like that. That way you guys can, you know, see if you won. And if you do end up winning, make sure you guys contact me or comment down below that you're claiming your prize so I can ship you your cards as soon as possible. So before we open up the Shining Fates box and get over to GameStop for some Pokemon card searching, I want to show you guys a couple of singles I recently purchased online along with some cards I pulled not on camera, not on video. I don't open all my booster packs on video. I opened a bunch of packs with my girlfriend off camera a few weeks ago so these are going to be the cards that we pulled like the best ones. Now these singles are a bunch of older singles that actually have really nice art or uh, I remember as a child because I used to have them. So here we go. We have a Charmander. We have Growlithe, Beldum, Matang, and Metagross. These are all from Hidden Legends, these last three. I pulled a Hollow Metagross and a Reverse Hollow Metagross in the same pack. So uh, this lineup really means a lot to me growing up. A Sandshrew from an e reader pack. We got Chikorita, Larvitar, and this is actually the Neo Genesis art, I think, but they just reprinted it in Celestial Storm as a. Uh, as a reverse hollow. We also have a bunch of Digimon cards as well. So if you wanna get your Digimon nostalgia, here's a little fix of that. We have been opening up Digimon cards on the channel. So if you guys wanna check out the Digimon playlist, check it out. We have two videos where we opened up a booster box and got some crazy cards. So let's quickly run through these Digimon so we can get back to the Pokemon. We have Gabumon, Garurumon, Toy Agumon, Greymon, Metal Greymon, Agumon, another Agumon. We have Wurgaruumon. Garurumon, Agumon, Agumon Expert, Agumon again, Greymon, Metal Greymon, Golimon, Growlmon, a Rina Shinomiya, and I ha I really like this card, okay? I really like this card. I picked up a bunch of them for about like $2.50 each or $3. Now they're going for about $4 to $4.50 Canadian. So next up are the single pulls or the best pulls from recent packs I opened off camera. We have a full art. Tauros GX from Pokemon Sun and Moon. We have an Inteleon V promo, a Cinderace V promo. We have a full art hyper hyper rare uh, Piers from Champions Path. Dreadnought V full art, a Galak, Galactopus, Grapple Lock V, Ponchcrow GX, I think from Guardians Rising. We have a Mega Audino EX, not familiar with this Pokemon at all. White Curium Reverse Hollow Rare, Tapu Coco Hollow, uh, and these are promos. These are from a Tapu Coco uh, thing that had three packs at Guardians Rising, I believe. All right, so those were the singles. Now let's get to some Shining Fates. First off, we have the Pikachu V promos. I guess I'll keep the Jumbo one because shipping this one will be a little bit of a little bit of a hassle but we have the Pikachu V promo so the winner for this will be on screen right now congratulations to you really really awesome promo for Pikachu code card and then the booster packs what do we got oh what the heck we got three I forget the name is it Corviknight I think it's Corviknight we got three Corviknights and one Dragapult so let's get to it starting off with the Dragapult pack First, we did unbox the uh, the special shiny VMAX box. If you guys want to see that, check it out. But let's go and congratulations to the winner on screen right now. So yeah, you won. Comment down below that you won to claim your prize. And let's get to it. The first pack, Shining Dragapult V. So, or I don't know why I keep saying V. I'll, like the V and V maxes are just in the particular card. I can just say Shiny Dragapult and that's, I'll be good. All right, so here we go. 
I haven't actually opened up packs in a while now. So forward to the front. So this is like the first pack I've opened up in over a week. So here we go. We got a Grass Energy. We got a Ball Guy. Tropius. Floatzel. Eevee. Rowlet. Shinx. Trap Inch. Yanma. A Snom. And a Professor's Research. Ugh. Kind of a dud pack. But hey, you will actually we will give the code card too. We'll give the code card to whoever uh, won that. So let's just make sure that's all organized together properly. Next pack we have is the Corviknight one. So let's get to it. And uh, congratulations to the winner on screen right now. You won the second pack of Shining Fates from this Pikachu V-Box collection. So congratulations to you. I definitely want to do some more giveaways like this in the future and give back to you guys for supporting the content. So here we go for, oh, I, I probably gave away the code card. All right. Anyways, let's uh, we'll put the code card in the back so I don't lose that. And we got a Psychic Energy. We got Dartrix, Floatzel, Luxio, Morpeko, Yanma, Choodle, Kufant, Horsey, Kufant again, and a Manaphy or Man Manaphy Manaphy regular rare. Time for pack number three. And uh, this is a Pikachu V box I actually bought. I bought four of them from the Pokemon website. And let's just congratulate the winner on screen right now. Congratulations to you. You've won the third pack for the Shining Fates giveaway. Pikachu V box collections. This print run had like really bad hollow bleed on the baby shinies in particularly. So hopefully uh, it doesn't continue for this box, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is hollow bleed white code card, of course, because it is shining fates for to the front. And here we go. Pack number three, a fighting or rock energy. You got a Rotom, Gramorant, a Wacky, Gossifloor, Coughing, Morpeko, Yanma, Horsey, Ooh, a Dartrex Reverse and a Boss's Orders. This is actually the worst box I've seen in a long, long time. What is going on here? All right, so that was the third pack. Can we get Can we get some last pack magic? Let me just make sure I, I dropped the booster pack. That's what happened. Oh, this is like the remnants of what's left of the pack. Where is the, where's the other part? There we go. This, I can I can use this to organize it. All right, so Corviknight number three. Uh, where can I put this safely? All right, let's get some last pack magic for the last winner of the Shining Fates giveaway up top right now. Congratulations to you. You won the final Shining Fate. So let's get to it. Hopefully we can get some actual last pack magic. I feel like there has to be like a double banger in this particular pack because we've pulled literally not even a hollow rare, I think. So there we go. There's the code card. We're going to include that for the winner. And here we go. Grass Energy. Dartrix. Oh, Dartrix Eldegoss. A Rusted Shield. Yanma. Grookey, Nickit, Choodle, more Petko with the with the gang, a ball guy, and a Frostmoth Hollow Rare. All right, well, that's actually so disappointing. We didn't even pull a V card. Not gonna lie, that was a bit disappointing, but now we're gonna make our way over to GameStop or flashback in time to show you guys what they had at EB Games and GameStop. So let's go and then we'll be back here to open up the purchases. So here we are at the EB Games, AKA GameStop in Canada. We have the Pokemon figurines first. We have the Pikachu one right here. And all of these are actually done by Bandai. There's also an Eevee one as well, like Pokemon Let's Go. Pokemon Eevee and Bandai as you guys know makes the Gundam model kit so really cool to see they have all these available they also have a Mewtwo one as well easily one of my favorite legendary Pokemon we have the massive like $100 Pikachu pop figure which looks soulless with those black eyes and then we have the Jigglypuff Bluetooth speaker I think it's an awesome choice that they went with this Pokemon for a Bluetooth speaker moving on to the cards they have a couple of mini tins I don't think the pack selection is that great in those we have a little notebook along with some deck boxes some card binders and the new uh, jumbo card binders as well now up top we got the tins oh they got some good tins man we have this cinderace v tin with a score bunny on the right side really great pack selection in these i know that for a fact and they also had the collector's chest for last year's sword and shield stuff and uh oh 
same same exact pack selection in this tin as well so we have the we have these to open up later on the channel next up i was like where's the booster packs where's the blister packs and they actually had them behind the cash register so they're all here they had a bunch of battle styles a bunch of sword and shield unfortunately no darkness ablaze or vivid voltage they also had some pokemon let's go decks some snorlax and more peko pin collections and a couple other like decks as well so pretty solid selection at this gamestop i gotta say so let's go home and open the stuff up oh no way look what i just pulled dude oh my god that thick ass boy <laughs> Back here at the desk to open up the tins we ended up picking up. We bought this right here, a Cinderace V tin. And I also had this tin as well from a recent trip, which I didn't open yet. So let's start off with the Cinderace V tin right here. It has Score Bunny on the front. And this tin was 40 Canadian dollars retail. And if you have an edge card, I think it was, I have the, I have the sticker here. It was $35.99. So uh, 36 bucks. And the pack selection, I know for a fact on these, is fantastic. So, let me show you guys what we have in store. We have the tin. Let's just open this up. Let's just move these cards over there. Here we go. So, we have the Cinderace V promo, which we'll show you guys in a second. We have the tin, of course, which has five packs inside. So, we got Sword and Shield. We got Sword and Shield. We got Cosmic Eclipse. We got Sun and Moon Burning Shadows and Evolutions. And yes, Evolutions. Evolutions is still very expensive. So the fact that you can buy this tin for $36 Canadian plus tax, if you have the edge card, basically this pack right here is 25 ish. So these are basically worth $10 of value. Like that's amazing. So it's really good value for these tins. If you see these tins sitting, I definitely recommend you guys buy them. So let's get to the sword and shield packs. We are on the hunt for that Marnie. We need that full art Marnie. I wouldn't mind a really cool gold Zamazenta. Uh, or a Zacian or Zakian, however you want to pronounce it. We got the code card, put that to the side, and four to the front. Ah, oh, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to open up the evolutions at the end of this tin. We got a Water Energy, Dottler, Galarian Stunfisk, Raboot, Gossiflor, Goldeen Goldeen, a Diglett, Gorupi, Hoot Hoot, Pokemon Catcher, and a Sincino. Right now, we're already continuing the not so great luck that we had on the Shining Fates. Fates Pikachu tin. Hopefully you can pick up when it comes to at least, you know, maybe the evolutions. Maybe, maybe we're preserving all of our RNG, all of our luck for the evolutions uh, packs. And I wouldn't be that disappointed if that were the case. Dark Energy, Bisharp, Salazzle, Doug Trio, Crow Gunk, a Galarian Meowth looking fierce, Scorp Bunny running at us. We got a Sinistee, Maractus, an Ore Beetle Reverse Hollow Rare, I believe, and a Masharna. A Masharna? Cosmic Eclipse up next. Cosmic Eclipse is one of the biggest sets like ever for Pokemon, and they have really great alternate art cards in the set. Wow, look at that centering. That centering is horrible. Look how, look how there's like almost no border for the top right there. So here we go. We have a dark energy that's horribly centered. We got a Mimikyu hiding in the darkness. Lily Pokey, Lily's Poke Doll, Togedomaru. We got Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Lit Leo. We got a Flabebe, Sfeel. Oh, wow, let's go. We got a secret rare Weevil. That looks awesome. And a Alolan Sand Slash in the back. But wow, let's, let's go. Let's put a sleeve on our boy Weevil right here. That looks really, really cool. I believe that's one of the villains from the Sun and Moon era games. I'm not too familiar with it. And here's a look at the back. Let me just pop that out. Ooh, a little kind of, maybe a little Nick whitening on the corner there. But overall, pretty solid. Really awesome card overall. That's some fantastic art. We'll put Weevil to the side right there. Burning Shadows up next. And then the XY Evolutions. And then the final uh, final 10 and here we go metal energy kawaii porygon 2 metapod porygon 1 a meryl made of wool hoot hoot rhyhorn ralts just vibing in the the freaking garden that's like really nice art we got a buffalant reverse hollow and a mud sail let's get to it maybe we can get something nice i will be ecstatic if we can pull blastoise or a charizard Ooh, starting off though with a with a little peek, a little peek at the Pikachu, a little peek at the Pikachu. And actually, guys, I want to get to the common question of the day. Uh, I saw this on TikTok the other day, and some people, 
it's called the Mandala Effect. Some people believe Pikachu had a black tip at the end of his tail. And some people believe it didn't. Like it just doesn't right now. If you actually look at any form of Pikachu, there's no black tip. I grew up thinking there was a black tip, or at least my memory thinks there was a black tip at the tail of Pikachu, on the tail of Pikachu. So what do you guys think? Was there a black tip or was the tail the way it is right now, the way it's always been? I'm curious, comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. So uh, yeah, but I personally think Pikachu had like a black tip. I swear he did. Uh, but as you can see, I even have like a Pikachu tin thing right there. There's no black tip. We have a Pocket Monsters Volume 1. You can't really see a tail there. But uh, even the Pikachu right here, see? There's no black tip. It's a brown thing at the bottom there, but I swear there was like a black tip at the bottom that matched his ears here. Even the OG, wait, we'll, we'll get to the Pikachu in a second because we saw it. So let's just get to this evolutions pack. We got Super Potion, Nidorino, Professor Oak's Hint, Pikachu, and see, there's no black tip. No tip on the tail, but you can see he definitely lost weight as the years gone by. We got Ponyta, we got a Nidoran, Vulpix. I always remember getting this card out of those 25 cent coin things at the grocery stores where you would, they would give you a random card. We got a Dark Energy. Ooh, a Tangela. Tangela Reverse Hollow. And... <gasps> Wow, let's go, a Mega Pidgeot EX. That is sick. That looks so cool. Look at that art, guys. Wow, wow. That looks really cool. And I love the Japanese text across. Did you guys know that the Japanese version of these cards actually have English instead? Now, let's get to the final tin. So this is the Inteleon V tin, and I have actually opened up a couple of other Inteleon V tins off like off uh, off camera and the thing is I've gotten some weird promos so these are actually the promos I want to show you guys because you could technically call it an error tin because I pulled them from a tin and uh, I not just one not one just not one error card I got two error cards and it's not in a sense of there's like a misprint in the spelling or anything like that the reason I think it's an error is because well look at that centering look at that centering. Bruh. Look at that. If this is not an error, I'm crazy, but this looks like an error to me. It literally has no border on the left side. And the B is almost cut off. Now the crazy thing to me is, I bought a bunch of these Inteleon V tins from a local game store, and I didn't just get one error tin. I got two. Check it out. Boom. Another one. Two error Inteleon these and these are promos these are straight from the promo tin you can see the promo black star right there so uh so yeah there's literally no border so what would this grade would the centering like make it a zero um i don't know it almost looks like an e-reader card with how thick the border is on the right side but that's nuts i feel like i should get these graded or or at least put in like a really cool kind of a frame or a sleeve or some sort because I've never seen cards like this poorly centered in my entire life in person. Maybe you guys have seen this online before, but the fact that I got these out of two Inteleon V tins. So we're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna see if we have another Inteleon V error tin just like those. So here we go. Uh, this time I'm actually recording the reaction like live. When I pulled those out of the tins a while ago, a few weeks ago, I was so surprised that that even passed like quality control. So here we go. Let's see if we have another error in Teleon V. And it looks solid. It looks like it has regular, regular, regular centering. So let's get these cards out of the tin. So like this is how a regular Inteleon V card is supposed to look like. That's crazy. It's another common question of the day or just another thing I like to talk with you guys about in the comments. Have you ever gotten an off-center card like this, of this nature, where there's like no border? Have you, what, and what do you do with your off-centered cards? Do you guys collect them? Do you just get rid of them? Do you think they're trash? I think it's really cool. I personally think like error cards or error tins or whatever, you know, this, I think this is really cool. And just a reminder, we're gonna be giving away uh, basically one of these packs in an upcoming YouTube short. So subscribe to the channel if you aren't yet already. And if you guys are enjoying these Pokemon vlogs like this, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. It helps let YouTube know in the algorithm to recommend more of my Pokemon vlogs. So even if you maybe don't want to subscribe to me, uh, if you do like the video, it does signal to YouTube, hey, maybe recommend another Pokemon vlog from this guy in the future. So here we go. Metal Energy, Drizzle. Ordinary Rod, we got a BD, Diglett, Feroz Seed, Goldeen Goldeen, a Rosilia, Joltik, a Team Yell Grunt, and 
a Marnie. Dude, if we can pull that full art Marnie, I think the full art Marnie is the most expensive card now in the Sword and Shield base set. And I think that uh, because of the full art waifu boom and Marnie being in Sword and Shield base set, it's gonna make the value of Sword and Shield base set, base set go up a lot over time. But anyways, enough rambling. We got a Kingler. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a long time. Kingler, we got Rhydon. Great value Squirtle, Blip Bug, Rhyhorn, Flabapus, Goldeen Goldeen, Rotom Bike, and a Delmize V Ultra Rare. Nice, nice. I think Delmize V Max is a pretty solid card. Cosmic Eclipse, let's go. I think it's easily one of my favorite modern sets just because of how many awesome cards there are. And the alternate arts are just incredible. Like the secret rares are just so freaking cool. So here we go. Grass Energy, Lily's Polka Doll, Dragonium Z Dragon Claw, a Araquanid, what the heck is that? A Time Pole, Duskull, Flabebe, Alolan Sand Shoe. Oh, whoa, I just totally yeeted. I yeeted the card out of the way. But we got a Pikachu secret rare. Let's go. Wow. And a Lycan Rock Hollow rare. But the Pikachu is the star of the show. This card has this value has gone up like an insane, insane amount. Look at this. The centering looks amazing. Wow. Wow, guys. What do you think? Is this PSA 10 worthy? For a Pikachu secret rare, this value is, the card's value is insane in, in graded form. We got red right there. Oh, that's awesome. I want to put Pikachu now in a sleeve. And that's great because we also pulled a secret rare Weevil from the previous tin. So we're, we're doing like this luck is insane. Burning Shadows on the hunt for that hyper rare Charizard. Can we get it? And uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I filmed videos. I've had, I've taken a small break this past week and it feels really good to be filming videos again. Even if it's not like my main channel, Sneaker Talk, just opening Pokemon cards too feels great. So Darkness Energy, Corellia, Simisage. So thank you guys for, you know, continuing to watch and, and support me. It really means a lot. Oddish, Duskull, Esper, a Bruxish, and a Mudsail. XY Evolutions, here we go. Blastoise, I, I like to I like to open you, man. I would love, that sounds horrible. It feels like I'm dissecting a Blastoise. I'd love to pull, I would love to pull a Blastoise right now. Let's try and not ruin the surprise. White code card. Let's not ruin the surprise like I did with the Pikachu a second ago. I fully like pulled two cards by accident out of the way. So here we go, last pack. And make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think about Pikachu. Did he have a black tip tail growing up and now it's normal? Like I wanna know in the comments down below. Um, but here we go. We got Pokedex. We got Potion. Magmar. Oh, this art is amazing. Staryu. Onyx. Weedle. Machop. Tangela. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Coughing. And our final card is... Hey, let's go! A Needle King Hollow Rare. That looks awesome. Wow. That's a great way to end the video.